starting to get the cylinder liners load, loaded up and everything is pre-fit. So we have the first five liners fit already. We had a problem with one liner where there was a little lip on the liner. When we put it in, it kind of make a clunk and wedge. So just took a little piece of sandpaper on the outside of it. It was just right where the liner port started for the intake ports on the top end of it. And just kind of filed it down just a little bit and now that one fits. So we've got the first five fit and we're working on piston number five and six right now, getting them loaded. And then, uh, then we're gonna start installing everything. We got Bob here who volunteered today. <laughs> Bob also has a 4104 that he's had for how many years? 43 years today. 43 years today, a 4104 owner. So he's very intimate with the ass end of a bus, just almost like this. Yeah. <laughs> only, only a little bit different. <laughs> and then we have Tom who came and volunteered today and Tom is working on cleaning some pistons up. He's learning the, the dirty job of scraping off carbon. <laughs> Of course, Mr. Sunshine himself is here today. Hello, folks. <laughs> How's everything out yonder? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Bob's gonna go through and start setting up our blower. We got the Reman blower from PC Industries. Um, it's not 100% the same blower because they didn't wouldn't take this one as a core, um, but we have the same core back there. Um, So we're gonna strip this one down and send this back in as a core. Are we still short that engine stop for that rod? No, we got it. Okay. So anyways, this nice, beautiful rebuilt one from PC Industries is coming. The only difference on it is gonna be the um, the blower drive gear cover, but we have the, uh, the co correct cover that goes with this. So anyways, Bob's gonna keep working hard on getting that blower set up. We got a blower install gasket kit that has all the gaskets that he would need to do that. Uh, it comes with gasket for the fuel pump, for the governor that mounts on the other side. Uh, the governor will go here and then the water pump mount that goes there. We have all those gaskets. It's like a jeweler over here today. <laughs> okay, so we've had a cool update from the that head that I talked about yesterday that uh, a very nice gentleman named Lee in uh, Kentucky, or no, in Tennessee, is donating to Stan. So Lee went out and pulled that head off of his bus that he was parting out today and confirmed, looked at it real close. There's no cracks in the head. It was a good running engine. Um, so he pulled that head off and he is going to drive to Lexington, to Kentucky today. Um, that guy's name was Jay. Did I say that? Did I call him Lee? I don't know. That his name is Jay. And then Jay is gonna meet a guy named Lee in Lexington, Kentucky tonight. And then Lee is going to drive the, the head up here to uh, Minnesota for us. So we're getting the head from Jay, who's delivering it to Lee in Lexington. I think, I think Jay is coming from Crossville, Tennessee is where he's at. Um, and he was parting out of 4103, took the head off already. So he's really helping us out, put it in his car, driving to meet Lee in Lexington, Kentucky and I'm driving here. So uh, a lot of things are in, in motion to get us ahead for this engine here. So we hopefully we'll have it ready to put it on by the time they get it here. <laughs> okay, go ahead and start sliding it in. Okay, you wanna... And the number one, just to confirm, is facing you, right? Yep. Try to go slow with it. He's stuck. Tip it, pick, uh, go back and forth with it. Like, uh, I gotta get some oil off of it. So it'll either, uh, it's probably towards you or towards, there you go. Just keep doing that back and forth. Until it gets properly aligned and then it's going to want to just come down the hole so make sure you have a hold of it because we don't want to drop it because you will nick the crank getting close yeah it's just not properly aligned and if you could rotate it counterclockwise about three degrees that'll help me out a little too if it's possible it's nice that it's a 
good fit. <laughs> Rotate it a little bit counterclockwise while you're doing that. So maybe I'm not telling you the right way. Um, I mean, the, 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 it's not lined up with the crank. The, um, We're did, different. Hang on, did, did the piston catch in the hole of the air box? Is that what's happening? No. And rod caught in the air box hole. Can you push it back? Is that what it is? Go, go through the air box opening here in the front. Okay, I'm lifting up this piston. I got her, Scott. Oh, okay. There you go. So rotate it counterclockwise just a little. No, nope, the other way. So clockwise. That, sorry. Yeah, there you go. I'm sorry. How's it look? Looking good. Keep on coming down. Keep coming. So now go counterclockwise just a smidge. Right there, stop. Go back. Right. Almost. Come on down. Keep coming down. Good? Yeah, go ahead and bring it all the way. There you go. Is the liner in all the way or no? Stop. Okay, so now you need to push the piston down. So reach in the hole and gently push the piston down. Oh, I need a little bit of that. Use that hammer. Yeah, you can use like the, the, the butt end of the hammer. Yep. yep. Don't hit it too hard, though. Job. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I think it's caught in the, in the air box again. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, can you see that flashlight, please? Yeah. I got the messy job. Is it all over my face? Just a little bit in your hair. Yeah. I can feel it dripping on me. <laughs> I believe we are free there. fingers so it doesn't make the crank. Okay. Keep coming. What inch? Okay, we're in. Okay, so now just push the piston down the rest yep. of the way. You can hit it harder. Okay, then it's there. Okay. Castle nuts? Uh, yes, please. I'm 
putting the bearing caps on and the number sides are going to the blower using some Lucas Oil assembly lube. <laughs> That's pretty good stuff. And then these take these castellated nuts that the cotter pin goes through. Make sure that that number is there. Three. And you lay under here and let things drip on your head. No, we're not all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna push it because the piston's up against it now, so you're gonna go against the rings. Okay, that's what you do. So the, the liner's going down, piston's staying. That's correct, because the piston's on top. I, I, I left the connection rod right in the upper position. Gotcha. Okay, we're all the way down. I have castle nuts over here already. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have I have four of them here. We try to be really careful not to drop a rod cap on your face. Oh, got my hair. <laughs> These are 65 to 75 foot pounds. And you gotta put a cotter pin through them. The little thing, it's a pain in the butt.
Okay, slowly come down. Stop. Can you go spin the crank just a little bit? Yeah. You want me to spin? Yeah, you come. Okay. Go really slow because my hands are. Yeah. about maybe an eighth of an inch with the piston left. Uh, in the in the liner. Well, we have the engine all back together there. So I'm just waiting on the head, but all the, the hard parts are there. Uh, the rebuilt blower is all assembled here. So we got the governor and the water pump. The fuel pump will go back on once it's on the engine. Um, this is the, go, uh, the blower install kit gasket set. And we just packaged up the blower to send back for the core charge. Oh, and everything is coming along. We're starting to narrow down the parts. That's the, the complicated stuff there is done. And then uh, start going back together. Hopefully the head will be here tomorrow. I'm really excited about that story. Thanks to uh, Lee and Jay, I think it was.